All right, we're playing Brood War Zerg against StarCraft 2 Terran, and I have a pretty cool idea for a playstyle. So, before I was pretty successful going actual full baboon, I would just make as many hatcheries as I could possibly afford, mine 200 gas, get link speed and um, burrow, and just burrow Zerglings all over the map. I'd put like a link trap here if the Marines moved out, I would have vision everywhere. But what I found out is that um, you can't beat Hellions <laughs> if you only make Zerglings because you don't have Queens and you don't have Roaches. So I think what I want to try to do is I want to open with Hydras. I'm not quite sure how many I can afford. Probably get Link Speed first and then go for Hydras. And then check what my opponent's doing. If my opponent's going passive, maybe I could go for a couple Mutas. Um, if he's going to play your, your more classic aggressive Bio Terran, then I could go for Lurkers right away. And if he goes for mech, I could go for queens right away. And queens and brood are pretty sick. I'm not quite sure if it works on every mech unit, but as far as I can remember, queens basically have a kill a mech unit and spawn two broodlings button. Um, and I would love to see that in action in this game. And obviously you're going to end up playing Defilers if we get that far into the game. I, I haven't been able to get there yet. I feel like the games I've played in ZVT, I've either won before with my mass zergling baboonery. And Scourges. I really like Scourges to kill Medivax. Um, or I would die before. So it would be very interesting to get to a game where I can actually use Defilers in, uh, you know, this mod against StarCraft 2. That'd be so cool. I, I, I'm not quite sure how it works with spells. Because I have to imagine the late game, you would probably really struggle with Ghost still, right? What would you do against Ghost? I'm actually not 100% sure, to be honest. Maybe like use Plague a lot with the Defilers or I'm actually not quite sure. Or maybe you would indeed use the Queens to kill a ghost if that's possible. I don't know if it really was just mechanical or maybe it also works against Psionic. There's a lot of things I have to figure out. Now my third hatch is going to be slightly delayed because I was autopiloting on SC2 timings. Um, and I don't have to make the two Queens that I usually do. So that's going to save me 300 minerals. So I'm going to make four Zerglings. I think... I do want to go with three hatch Hydra, but I don't think we have to make it so fast. Because think about this, normal Hellions, we can defeat with Zerglings, at least in a somewhat reasonable amount. But if it's Blue Flame, we're screwed. But you can't actually get Blue Flame that fast, right? So I think it should be okay if we just make a little drones for now and go into... Oh, this is going to be nice. Oh, we almost got the surround. That would have been beautiful. Let's see. Maybe I can surround him on creep. Like, we're still on the creep here, guys. As long as we're in creep, there's a chance. No, it's not going to happen. Why is he going back, you psychopath? You escaped? Why did you go back? Oh, I mean, it was good micro by us, but I think he actually just had the escape there and he let us uh, kill him in the end by sticking around a little too long. I think I'm going to have a little check with the Overlord. Now, I am still mining gas. Uh, I could have cut gas after circling speed, since I'm not going to make burrow. But I actually think it's fine. I think, um, yeah, if I'm going to make hydras, the hydra upgrades are, fr uh, in general, by the way, upgrades in this game are freaking expensive. Like shuttle speed. It's like freaking 150, 150, stuff like that. Oh, we baited him. You guys saw that? He went for the Overlord and we're going to kill an... Uh, an SCV instead, that's quite nice. If he wants to go up again, I'll kill another SCV. He is going up again. Let's see if we can get another one. We're gonna be able to get another one because he wants the over Dude, this overload has actually been MVP so far. Now, it is a good time for me to get the Hydra then now. And I'm also gonna get the Lair because he seems to be playing pretty passive, right? I think I might even have to go for another hatchery already as well. Gonna get up to five bases, which uh, sounds like a lot, but if you look at my resources, I can afford it. Um, what do I want to do here? I could either make a lot of... Zerklings might even be the best choice here. Like, he wasn't making Hellions yet. He could be going for BCs, right? I haven't seen the starport. If it is BCs... Hmm, this is actually a little suspicious, I have to say. Let me check if I can see, like, a, a particular gas count or something. Oh, an armory. Oh, yeah, okay, we need the Hydra... Or we need to make Hydras. Um, I guess... Yeah, Hydras are really the only thing we should be building against this, right? Because Mutalisks are not going to be that great. They're going to take a long time to get online. Not going to be that great against the Marines. I do need... Uh, actually, I'll just make Hydras right now. Let's see, what upgrade should I get? They're 150, 150, man. The upgrades are just insanely expensive. I think I'm going to go for another hatchery over here. I'm just trying to get creep spread by hatcheries. I imagine that's how you would normally play it. One uh, interaction that I'm not exactly confident in 
Is battle cruisers against? Oh, there's a liberator there. Actually, pretty good timing on the pool. Is battle cruisers against hydras? Like, I feel like my hydras could get destroyed. I'm not 100% sure, but maybe. Oh, I didn't realize I was actually rallying all of these across the map. That's a little dangerous. How many drones do I have now? 52. That's actually more than enough. I don't know why I'm making such a psychotic amount of uh, workers. Hopefully, I don't lose a Hydra. I don't have the upgrades yet. Oh my god, a Hydra struggle against these things. I'm going to try to get the hit on the Hydra. Oh, that was actually nice. I wanted it to hit the Hydra so it wouldn't kill the drones. Actually, pretty happy with that move. Um, maybe that's where scourges are even nicer because the liberators will just die instantly now what am i gonna do against this upcoming attack i mean i'm not 100 sure yet when it's even coming maybe it's a good time for me to go for a lurker tech now um i kind of felt like he was gonna go for a tank push let me just try if i can get some info so he has marines and yeah i think i need to go for lurkers here right it's gonna take a while to get those up he does have a pretty big army already like, I, I thought my approach was going to be good, but he's playing it so much different than I, I was expecting. I was expecting to have to deal with a bunch of Hellions. Um, and then eventually we go into the late game. But now we're kind of desperately trying to survive a potential push here. I mean, my army is pretty big. I don't have movement speed yet. For the, the upgrades also take freaking long, by the way. I don't have movement speed yet. So these Hydras are super, super slow. I'm going to get range soon. I have 54. Maybe I should check for a hidden base, actually. Because someone did take a hidden base against me before. Like, without the movement speed, it's going to be so freaking hard to engage, right? Dude, next time, I swear, I might even make... Um, I might even make, what's it called? A second Hydra then. Because getting all these upgrades is, is crazy. I made another upgrade on accident. I, I've noticed that happening a lot. I'm not quite sure what button it is that I'm pressing. But I do like making upgrades on accident. Especially on the on the hatchery. Sometimes I get, like, overlord range. Or sometimes I get over... What is it this time? It's... Uh, I don't know what it is, actually. Maybe it was Overlord uh, side range or whatever. I actually don't know. Now, these links are going to do a serious amount of damage. He does have a third base. He doesn't have Stim. Oh, I'm, I really want to go for it. But the thing is, I don't have speed on these Hydras. But my army does feel pretty massive. Maybe it's a good time for me to go for the Queen's Nest now. But I was thinking, right? If we, if we go for Queen's, even if the opponent is not playing Mech. If he's playing Marine Tank, maybe we could actually just kill the tanks with the queens oh if he's gonna lift off then i'm just gonna chill out here i don't have any rush at all i guess i'll go for the attack upgrades i'm not gonna get armor i'll just get both melee and uh range attack that sounds like a good idea i'm just gonna make so many freaking drones right now i guess i'll get a couple lurkers i believe lurkers themselves don't have upgrades in brood war so i suppose we'll see i'll make a couple i guess i'll just burrow those right in front of his base that should be nice i'll get a couple zerklings burrowed over here uh just to give me vision against drops let's see get one of those out here and there we go that should give me enough vision against drops and then i'm gonna take a couple gases over here i feel like maybe i can even i know i'm being really greedy but maybe i can even saturate that base i'm gonna burrow all of these lurk i see maybe a little closer all of these lurkers over here and um, so if he's gonna walk down that ramp we're gonna have a pretty devastating fight there and then I'm gonna go for Queens after this. Let's see, is it finished yet? I need the spawn Brutlings ability. That's what I need. Oh, those lurkers are the, the sound of the lurkers is very cool, actually. I, I didn't even remember that it was so cool. Oh my god, he made a lot of Hellions and they almost got vanished by the freaking lurkers. That's pretty crazy. Oh, he did go for blue flame. Now, I think we might have a moment here, guys, where the opponent doesn't realize that Hydras aren't light. Right? Like, Starcraft 2 Hydras are light, but these Hydras aren't, so they might not even take extra damage. I'm really just gonna stay here for a while to deny the base. I know he has... I wanna guess maybe even, like, five tanks. Unless he's doing this off of one factory, then he had to switch the factory over. But I feel like there's probably at least, like, five tanks there or something. Oh, it actually looks like he's playing full-on mech because he doesn't have a uh, combat shield on that. Yeah, there's a lot of units over there. I'm, I'm perfectly content just chilling here for now. Let's see, there's end snare as well. Do I want to get end snare? I don't think so. I think I'm just going to go up to a hive. I am maxed out, but I am going to wait for the energy to charge on these queens. Because I might as well take more gases and more bases at the same time. I'm having a really good time uh, making these late game Zerkidus that I haven't seen forever, by the way. I would love to get the Filers as well. I know normally I you would rather get the Filers. Parasite? Wait, Parasite? That's like the, um, the spying ability, right? I want to try it out, actually. Let's see. Can I Parasite one, one of his units? Ideally a tank. That would be nice. Or maybe not a tank. Uh, let's see. I'll get this one. 
Oh, look. Wait. Yo, that range is enormous. Wait, wait is he going to seize it and run it away so it stops getting... Wait, is he going to kill it? He's going to let it die? He <laughs> wait, he doesn't want to give me vision. So he's going to let it die. That's very funny, not going to lie. That is a very funny way of doing it. I think you can cure it if you have a medic, right? I'm pretty sure if you have a medic, you can cure it. Okay, I'm going to wait for the big finale. I feel like I should be able to kill his mech with these... Oh, actually, I should have gotten the overlord drops long ago for these freaking... Um, like, I could have sent all the... Yeah, that's a, that's a mistake by me. Actually, I... Kind of surprised I didn't think about that earlier because that's such a mark play. I could have loaded up all these Zerglings and sent it up into the main a while ago. Because I'll get dropped now and then I'll make a Defiler mount, which looks like a Roach Warren, which is kind of funny. I'll get an Ultra Cavern as well. I'm not quite sure if you want an Ultra Cavern against Mech, actually. But I'm actually so excited to get 150 energy on these queens. Like, for some, for some reason, it's just... Normally, I feel like a lot of people hate playing against Turtle Mech and stuff, right? But I feel like Brood War is such a nice counter to that uh, against those super turtle players. Now, let's see. I almost got it. Let's see if I can one-shot a couple of these. Um, biological or non-robotic non mechanical units. I, oh, my God, look. I can just one-tap the tanks. That is so beautiful. <laughs> that is actually awesome. Just going to kill a bunch of tanks like that. That's actually beautiful. Okay, now... I'm gonna wait. That defiler looks insane. I just made like 19 defilers, by the way. I don't know why, but I did. I just see a starport. Why was there a starport there? Okay, I'm actually quite confused now. But I just watched a bunch of tanks, which is freaking beautiful. Now I don't have to do it against those hell bats, of course. Like that would be a little bit of a waste. Maybe I can even run in here. I'm gonna kill a couple more. Look at this! Oh my god, I actually killed seven tanks with this. This is so cool. I can go for an ensnare. Ensnare should be pretty awesome here, I think. Look at that. Okay, that even lacked the game a little bit. That's how awesome it was. So the hell bats were slowed. Hydras do struggle a little bit against these units, but I guess the fight is favorable enough here. Man, I, this is actually just beautiful. I freaking love all of these plays. Now, I don't have the blinding... What's, what's it called, actually? Dark Swarm. That's what it's called. Let's see. Oh, my God. Yo, I've never seen these in StarCraft 2 before. That looks freaking awesome. Wait, do I need to upgrade that? I hope not. Is it an upgrade? Plague? Plague is an upgrade, and you can upgrade the Metasympathic node. Now, by the way... <laughs> You're not supposed to make this many... Def Wait, I can, I can, actually, I can use consume instead of waiting. Let's see. Can I just consume a bunch of guys? Oh, I can't do that. Wait, isn't that how it works? Oh, it is how it works now. Look at this. Yeah. Oh, my God. That's actually cool. Wait. Maybe it's good that I kept the Zerglings alive. Now I can do this. Oh, my God. I'm going to get so much. Wait. Dark Swarm is only 100? Let's see. I want to see it in action. Wait. It's actually relatively small. I want to see it in action in, in a fight against the tanks. Let's see. I'm going to get a Dark Swarm up here. And we're going to stand in here. Do the units do... How much damage do the units do? Can you shoot my guys, please? So the Marines do no damage. Stop shooting the Zerglings, bro. Wait, the tanks also do no damage? I completely forgot that, actually. Nothing does any damage? What about the Hellions? <laughs> oh, my God. My, my <laughs> I don't know why I'm casting it on his units. And I don't know. Wait. No, the Hellions actually pop off still, right? Or does it not work on the Filers? So, uh, this fight is being completely trolled, by the way, but I just really want... Oh, wait, does it actually not work on the filers? Is that what it is? Look at this. Wait, nothing is taking damage. Oh, my God, this is just silly. Look at this. Wait, is it... Is the... Is the Hellion considered a melee unit? Or were... I don't think the Hellbats were in the Dark Swarm when they shot, right? Or am I going a little crazy here? I feel like the Hellion shot from outside the cloud in and it did damage. Which means that they consider it to be melee, right? I mean, I could be absolutely crazy here. I know I'm absolutely trolling here, by the way, by uh, A-moving with 19 defilers. That's not because I thought it was a good idea, but I'm still a little puzzled on the interaction there. Oh, you know what? I would actually like to make some guardians as well. I feel like I'm going to give this guy the, the everything treatment. Oh, Another thing I forgot that's absolutely beautiful. Hydras are only one supply. I was wondering why my supply was that small. And then I remembered that Hydras are just one supply. So this is going to be a very, very, very big doom drop. Now, these Zerklings are going to get... Oh, I should have got an uh, Adrenal Glance, of course. Let's see. I believe that it's called the same. Oh, you can actually drop the same way here. Okay, I wasn't sure if I would have to drop one by one. This is a lot of Hydras in the main base. Probably would have been nice if I made... Actually, I'm going to run back a little bit here. Would have been nice if I made a couple Lurkers as well, I think. 
Here we go. We're going to deal with the Hellbats. It's kind of funny that the Hydras don't do as much damage in StarCraft 2. But then at the same time, his anti-light units don't do as much damage against the Hydras. Probably making this uh, a little awkward for him to witness. Now, I'm pretty sure I killed all of the Vikings. So maybe I can just drop on top of the tanks here. It's a little bit of a psychotic play. But uh, that is also... And wait, no, that's way too many siege tanks. <laughs> I'm not going to drop on top of that. Now, let's see. I'll just do a Dark Swarm here. And then I'll attack in. Is the Planetary going to be able to do damage? I'm not quite sure. The Planetary is going to be able to kill uh, the Zerglings. Surely a couple of Brood War players that are like, man, you have no idea how this game works, do you? It's been a long time. Okay, guys. It's been a very, very long time. Now, I do think we have absolutely dusted this guy with this attack, though, because his Vikings died, and now he's just busy chasing my freaking overlords around while I am pretty much maxed on a Hydras. I, I think I... How many Hydras do I have? I think I have, like, 90 Hydras. I'm not even exaggerating, I think. I think I might actually... Look at this. Oh, my God. I have, like, 90 freaking Hydras. Guess I'll use Dark Swarm for the memes. There we go. GG is called, and we have done it. Oh, I lost more resources than him. I guess that's what happens when you walk 19 defilers to your opponent's bit. I had 99 Hydras. Oh my god, guys. You guys know how much I love Hydras in StarCraft 2. I think this might actually be my jam. I can make more than... I'm not even maxed, by the way. I have 99 Hydras and I'm not even maxed. I can make like 200 Hydras in this game. I think I might play this a little more.